Cool, cool. Let's go. Hey everyone, John Reed here, author of 110 Things to See with a Telescope and many other stargazing books. This is the third video in our observatory restoration series and we've got a lot to cover. Not only do we have to release the dome from the old structure, but it's also insanely heavy. We need to find a way to move it. And then we've got to find a way to squeeze the observatory out of the backyard at Stillwater Lake and get it moved here to Big Lake. It's going to be an adventure. This is Learn to Stargaze. All right, we're back in Stillwater Lake, and today we need to disconnect the dome from the structure. We need to remove this weather stripping, and then we need to get all the wires and cables that are in the building into this wall here. It's also raining, so there's that. This one's not even in anything. Just pulled it right out. We had the adapter for this somewhere. Found the adapter. A little faster. All right, so we've got a bead of caulking that runs between the weather barrier and the observatory, and so we're just gonna use a knife and cut that off everywhere, just being hopefully very gentle and not touching the fiberglass itself. And Liam, you were given this, what percentage? 96. 96% 96 that this would come out? I gave it 10%. I think you win this round, Liam. After we take these bolts out, and there's about 16 of them, then the dome should hypothetically just lift off. While we wait for the rain to stop, I'm going to put some air in this tire. I'm going to turn this dome into a giant wheelbarrow. And so we've got one support here. And the rest of it will just be built off these boards here. All right, so we turned the dome into a giant wheelbarrow that came down onto the tire and we were able to lift it off the structure with these two janky arms. Uh, it worked and we made it some little little wheelbarrow feet with a whole lot of screws. What are we doing today, Liam? Moving the dome. We might be moving the dome. So the first problem we have is that the lane is not currently wide enough. We've got a team of landscapers here and they're gonna help trim back these trees. And hopefully we will be able to squeeze the dome through this hole here. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach two more wheels to the dome so that it turns it into a tricycle. So we're gonna to wanna to put these wheels about four feet apart to help keep it balanced, uh, but still close enough together that they fit on the trail. Well, it's pouring rain. We got the dome this far down. Uh, they wanted to cut as few of the trees as possible. And so we moved the dome up to the tree and then we're gonna trim just the right amount. Michelle loves her garden. So we're gonna try and keep it safe. What are you thinking? I think oh. this is going surprisingly well so far. Rocks. What's your business? Uh, we're natural roots. Dome <laughs> removal. <laughs> Dome removal. We've taken out all the bolts. We've separated it over here. Let's push these wires out of the way. Let's cut along this line and then see if it moves. Oh, 
this. We've got one wire and it looks like a temperature sensor. The plan for today is to try to salvage these walls. That's what was holding that corner in. Not sure what's holding this corner. And just a quick reminder that this project is primarily funded through the sale of our stargazing guidebooks, mainly 110 things to see with a telescope, a kid's guide to the night sky, and of course, 50 things to see with a telescope for kids. I'll post some links in the description. You can also find us on Patreon if you'd like to support us there as well. All right, back to the video. We've got all of the debris in the back of the truck. So we're gonna take it to the dump right now, unload it, and then tomorrow morning, we will try to salvage the floor. Dome removal day four. A little rainy. We're pulling off the floorboards and it looks like, even though all the wood above here was rotten, the pressure treated wood looks like it's basically like new, which is really good for us if we want to recycle this floor. What's your name? Amen. Amen. Carlos. Ganyeka. The original plan today was to push this onto the trailer, but the trailer uh, that we hired broke down uh, the flatbed. And so I think this is gonna probably stay here for the day, but we will take the walls. We're leaving this two by eight behind. So what we're doing is going around, cutting the bolts on each one. And then this should just lift off. Damn. So we're driving slow. We've got the entire floor of the observatory on the back of the pickup truck. The guys in the car behind us, they're spotting us. We're, I think we're 12 and a half feet uh, up above the ground level and we're allowed 13 feet, seven inches per Nova Scotia law. We've got to tie down pretty good. I think we'll be all right. We made it! Yep. All right, so we finally got the call from the uh, flatbed truck operators, Atlantic Tilt Load, that they had a truck available, and the truck is actually right behind us right now. We're headed to uh, Stillwater Lake here to pick up the dome, and hopefully. It just slides right on the back of this platform. Okay, just taking these wheels off. Trying to fight back. Is that a chain reaction? Don't make sure it didn't want to fall off. Okay. Now we're gonna strap it down and hit the road and drive to Stargaze, Nova Scotia. All right, we were unsuccessful getting the truck up the hill. We'll have to fix those divots. Okay, I think we have a plan for lifting the dome up onto the structure. Hey everyone, thanks for being a member of the End of the Video Club. As you may know, watching to the end of a YouTube video really helps us out as creators, allowing this video to be shown to more people. If you'd like to get advance notice of live streams and upcoming releases of our Stargazing Guidebooks, be sure to sign up for our mailing list at learntostargaze.com. 
Once you sign up, you'll get a note from me and a free stargazing logbook to track your progress. And as I said in the last video, I'm still new to the mailing list thing, so I'll be personally sending out the PDF logbooks, at least for the next little while. Be sure to subscribe to take your stargazing experience to the next level, and remember, the future is looking up.